welcome back to the second video. Uh, welcome back to Pokemon. Uh, back to one of the laggiest games on Roblox when it comes to screen recording this entire thing. But I'm willing to continue it. So, uh, off to Cheshma Town. Where I already know what happens, but I'll see you guys. Uh, I'll let you guys see for yourselves. Uh, the goal for today's episode is to, uh, I mean, I want to say today's episode, I'm uploading on the same day, but the goal of today's episode is get through the woods and go to, uh, Sylvan City where the first gym is, but for now I have to follow this strange girl into this strange house and... I'll let you guys see what happens. I have played Pokemon Brick Brown so many times. So your parents were taken by Team Eclipse. Gosh, that must be awful. I bet you miss I bet you must miss them. Oh, so they gave you that necklace before they were taken. Do you mind if I see it? Thanks, this nec necklace looks old and valuable. Huh, thanks. Yeah, steals the necklace. End up with Jake over here. Asking who she was, why she took the necklace. Well, I don't really know myself. Kind of stupid for taking the necklace, if you ask me. But knowing Pokemon, or knowing this game so well, means I know where all of the good stuff is. So I can just go into Starbucks Coffee. Saucebuck Coffee, never mind. Yeah, Saucebuck Coffee. Yeah, so basically what Saucebuck Coffee does, if you don't know, is, uh... Yeah, an item to be held by a Pokemon it has a chance of boosting a Pokemon's speed each turn. And I'm gonna go with Pidgey. Because Froakie is already fast enough. Alright. In Sylvan City, we also have another Pokemon to catch. <sighs> We'll focus on that when we get there, but for now, it's time to get through the uh, through the woods here, the Gale Forest. Pokeball here. I think that one has the antidote has an antidote in it. There's a paralyzed heal on the next route. And I also uh, went over the video that I recently posted realizing that you guys can't even hear the music so it was kind of useless of me turning it down I feel like if you listen close enough I heard the music just barely wake up Froakie Froke, wake up Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Got it. All right, hoot hoot down. But I have a few ideas for this channel now. I can actually uh, do face cam. I was thinking if you try not to laugh on YouTube, if I don't get copyright struck or just copyright claimed, uh, if I get permission, maybe some reactions on different things. There are a lot of series I haven't watched, but then there's a lot of series that I have watched, so that might not be very useful. So. Bug catcher Ricky, obviously. Metapod. No Kakuna. <laughs> the next one's Metapod. Uh, 
The next one is Metapod. I know that one for, for a fact. He's literally the bug catcher. I know if he has Kakuna the, for the first Pokemon, uh, Metapod's a second. It's honestly good dude. you can't hear the music. It keeps stuttering and it's annoying. As I say it, it stutters. Alright, I know for a fact there's this trainer, a trainer in a uh, certain way. <laughs> trainer in the back. And then there is the final trainer, so there's around three more trainers left in this area. For a growl for a lick. Once I got. Uh, Water pulse, I won't be needing that move though. Alright. Might as well use the potion. Medicine, potion. Yeah, if you didn't know, a potion restores. 20 max HP of a Pokemon. So it's useful. <sighs> but the higher level of your Pokemon, best just to buy the better versions of those potions. That restore 60, 120. I think it goes to 180. You're, feel free to kind of correct me, but I think that's how it works. I know there's one that does 120, but that's... I know a revival herb not only revives the Pokemon, restores it to its full HP, kind of like a max revive. Regular revive, revives it, and go to, goes to... Uh, it's uh, half of its HP. I don't really, I'm not really into the Butterfree. As I said, not really into the bug types. I'm into one Pokemon. Bubble. Of course. You have to make sure when you're fighting Nidoran, or, uh, yeah, just Nidoran, you don't want to use any physical attacks, like Lick, or Tackle, or Quick Attack, are all direct hits, and that would have probably poisoned Froki, so it's a good thing I didn't do anything that uh, close to that. Alright, now it's time for, I think her name is Tessa or something, I don't remember. I wouldn't be surprised if her name is Karen. No, Linda. Puccina. Puccina. Alright, bubble. Lowering accuracy isn't really going to help as long as you don't do it multiple times. Alright, punch him. God, stop lagging. 
and finally got me arm thrust. Yeah, this powerful enough move. Oh, why am I pulling out the bag? Fight. Bubble. It's not going to do much. Quick attack. Hmm. Alright, at least land one more bubble. Or that. You're literally a child as well. Alright. He's explaining the system of the of all the gyms and crap. But I'm only interested in one Pokemon. And that is not it. I know it's rarer than some of the others, so I'll have to keep looking for it. Neater and mm -mm. that's not it. The one I'm looking for is an electric type. Caterpie, not what I'm looking for. Mine's a very famous Pokemon. I know what a Pikachu looks like. And that is not a Pikachu. That is a Spinarak, not a Pikachu. I know by the fourth gym I'll have a Raichu. That is also not a Pikachu. Uh, I'll go Pikachu hunting in the next episode. Alright, uh, I'll end the episode there. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification button, and I'll see you guys in episode 3 where I'll go to Sylvan City and get my first gym badge. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.